Hello, I'm Robert Stalvey, and I wanted to take a couple of minutes today to go over the Claims Manager with you in RentWorks. This is an add-on module that you can get some information from your sales representative about. Uh, we can give you a free trial if you'd like to try it out for, uh, for a week or so. And if you want to go through this uh, training, you can. Otherwise, you could place a support call and we could help you out with something like this. When you click on claims, you'll see the items that are related to claims. And we'll start at the top of the list with claims setup. So from here, you can click edit and you can add in new claim types or you can change them and delete them. And uh, to do that, you'll just click in that field. And then click add and you'll need to save it if you want to save this. You can also put in certain documents that you'd like required and you can check the box off if it's required and you can enter in expense types, claims, status types, and recovery sources. So that's the the basic setup. Now moving on we'll go to the claims entry and when you go to enter a new claim it's pretty simple in claims entry you just hit new and We'll select a claim type. When you put in the RA number and press tab, it'll ask you, do you wish to automatically load the renter and vehicle information? If you do choose yes to this, it'll drag in the information from the driver on the contract, and you can choose which unit was involved in the accident. And as long as this box is checked off, it says load renter and load unit, when you hit select there it's going to pull all that information in for you saving your valuable time you can then enter in the claim loss date and time when the accident occurred uh, assign the status to this claim and then you can put in whatever information you happen to have which documents you have which police department is involved in investigating if you have the report number it's always helpful now when you click finish on this this is going to finish this up if you did want to make a note you could add a note to display automatically So that next time someone comes into this claim, that note's going to pull up automatically. So we could look up the claims by uh, RA number if you'd like to to look it up again. Also, you can you can go by uh, claim type and status, and then you can leave that out, and you can search from the list of claims that are open, find our claim and then you can make those changes. You'll notice there's only three tabs in claims entry because this is more basic for your counter agent to go ahead and just get that information in. Um, once the claim's been assigned, uh, the claims manager will come into claims management and in here you can do the same lookup by RA number. Uh, you could go by status and type. So we'll go by RA number because that's most of the time what you'll have and you can see that this claim is open and there was an accident and now you get all of these nice tabs and uh, what you have in here is a lot of information to keep track of things that are to do with this claim uh, financially repair orders images documents can be attached um, you can set up reminders in here and uh, also you can you know set where the claim is managed. Uh, who, who's going to manage this claim? Who's in charge of it? And who, who's the go-to guy when the insurance company calls? So let's just enter a new reminder on this claim. Because tomorrow morning we need to call the adjuster to open up the claim.
And now what we can do is we can go in to view the reminders. And now you can view the reminders by date. And you also have the claim reminder report. And this is the starting date of loss, the ending date of loss. Show all the active reminders. Sort by date. And that's going to list out any of the reminders so that you could hand this off to your claims department and say, here, here's what you need to do today.